After you download your student detail reports, it's time to add your financial aid data to them. When you open your student level cohort file, you will be presented with a pop-up window. You should select Don't Convert, which will ensure you retain any leading zeros in all fields. While working the file, you may want to save it as a .xlsx so that you aren't asked to convert the file every time you open it. When you're ready to upload the file, you will save it as a .csv. When editing your student cohort file, please refer to our student level reporting specifications for detailed field level instructions and validation to minimize errors and warnings. Only programs with a minimum of 30 total completers, otherwise known as graduated students, in the last four award years are included in the standard or transitional student level cohort files. The report includes the student records for the cohort type selected for programs that meet this criteria. Standard cohort file award years include the last seven award years and an additional eighth award year for QGP. The transitional cohort file award years include the two most recent award years. To avoid errors, do not remove or alter any rows that the clearinghouse generated on your report. Each award year file includes column headers and pre-populated data elements derived from your institution's enrollment reporting. Do not edit the column headers or edit the pre-populated fields. If key student identifiers need to be updated, you can update them through enrollment reporting. Key student identifiers include institution code, OPE ID, student social security number, CIP code, credential level, length of program, length of program measurement, and weeks in Title IV academic year. Once the updated enrollment data is processed, you should regenerate and download your student cohort file. You can correct non-key identifier fields by either updating them through enrollment reporting or editing them on your Excel file. However, if you update those fields on your Excel file, the Clearinghouse will flag them as errors for you to confirm. The Clearinghouse populates the record type field in column A with either AA or TA. For the most recent cohort year, in column A, you will see either AA, meaning the student was enrolled as of the end of the award year ending June 30th, or TA, meaning the student was graduated or withdrawn as of the end of the award year. For AA records, only provide values for the AA fields as necessary. Do not populate fields designated for only TA records. AA fields are in columns Z through AG. For TA records, only provide values for the TA fields as necessary. Do not populate fields designated for only AA records. TA fields are in columns N, O, and Q through U. When adding financial aid data, use whole numbers only. Do not add the dollar symbol or a period, as this will cause the row to error or to be read as multiple students. There are a few scenarios where a student and program will not need to be reported in the student level report, such as if a student withdrew from a program, and then re-enrolled in the same program during the same award year, you should report the student as enrolled as an AA record only. If a student did not receive Title IV aid for any programs at your institution, do not include them in your FET GE reporting. If a student received Title IV aid for a specific program, but not for other programs, the student should only be included in the reporting for the program or programs for which they receive the federal aid. If programs are neither GE programs nor eligible non-GE programs. Please see the FSA Dear Colleague letter for more information. 
if a student record should be invalidated from the report, do not delete the row or information. To properly invalidate a row, you should instead enter the accurate value in column AH, the invalid flag field. This field allows you to mark a record as invalid and provide the reason for invalidating the row for later reference. It also prevents additional errors from being flagged in your institution's uploaded cohort file. If the invalid flag equals R, the GE reporting flag must be N, and program attendance status during award year must be W. If the invalid flag equals T, X, R, or C, you do not need to populate the financial aid data fields for the student record. Do not add students to the file. The system is not set up to intake new students via the file, and adding them will cause errors. Here are some additional tips for a successful file upload. Use the student level reporting specifications to ensure accurate reporting and minimize errors and warnings. Do not edit the column headers. They are pre-populated to ensure structural validation rules are applied. When you're finished, save your updated student level cohort file using the required field naming convention, six digit OPE ID underscore award year. Make sure it's saved as a .csv file. For example, Hometown University's OPE ID is 001234 and is reporting the 2023 to 2024 award year, so the file name is 001234 underscore 2023-2024. Now you're ready to submit your file via the file upload feature on the student level report tile. For more information, refer to the file layouts student level report section of the FBT GE user guide and student level field specifications guide.